Assalamu alaikum class. It is lecture number 24 from chapter number 7. Here we are going, we are going to practice ICAP self-test question bank from uh, of the topic narration. Okay. This is practice question from self-test number 6, chapter number 7 and the question number is 11. Okay. It is about the narration. So we have I have already written the sentences and see how we are going to change this direct sentence into indirect sentence. I took the home, the book home with me, she said. Fine. The reporting speech is there at the end. We have to drag it in the beginning. She said that she had taken the book home with her okay first person pronoun changes according to subject this is she so here it is the book home with me me is the objective case of first person it is also going to change according to um, subject and that is her this is how we have changed this direct sentence into indirect form. She said that she had taken the, had taken the. Why? Because took is a simple past and simple past is changed into past perfect. So we have changed this took into had taken. Now we move on to the second sentence. I'm going shopping. Can I get you anything? She asked. Again, the reporting speech at the end, we have to drag it in the beginning. She asked. Okay. She, she asked. She was going shopping. Fine. Whether... She could get me any thing. Now I'm going to tell you how I have changed it. She asked, I have dragged it in the beginning as it is. Fine. This is declarative part of the reported speech and that is interrogative sentence. Declarative declarative will be changed according to declarative rules first person pronoun changes according to subject this was she so I have converted this I into she okay am into was fine she was going shopping fine can can is a model verb and we have seen that in interrogative sentences whenever a, sen a sentence start with a model verb we Change it into whether or if. Whether. I, again, first person pronoun. Again, it is going to change into she. Whether she could get. Fine. She could get. Second person pronoun. That change according to object. There is no object over here. So, I am going to change it into first or third person. And here I have changed into first person pronoun. And that is all the up sentence. Okay, she asked whether, she asked she was going shopping, whether she could get me anything. Okay, now we we'll move, move on to sentence number C. Again, it is an interrogative sentence. See how we change it. He asked. Again, the sentence is starting, reported sentence is starting from the model verb will. It means that we have to change it with whether or if. He asked whether you, again, there is no object, so I, whether I will into would, repose, trust, in such a person, whether I would repose, trust in such a person, okay? Fine, this was the change of interrogative sentence into this indirect form, okay? Now, in sentence number D, he said that he shall into would, he would leave 
as soon as it is into was it was possible see how i have changed this simple present into simple past okay shall and will both change into would is is changed into was and i have introduced by for the omission of this punctuation i have introduced this word that no sentence number e the chairman said said that it gave him him immense player player to be there that evening okay the chairman said that it gave it gave it gave him him immense player to be there that evening why it remains the same fine give is changed into gave first person pronoun changes according to subject subject is a chairman and it is a masculine gender so i have used this pronoun for him him fine why because he, me is the objective case so i'm using this pronoun him immense player to be here into there this into that evening okay so this is how we have changed direct sentences by applying all the rules which we have learned to indirect form okay okay now we are practicing the question number 12 from the same self test number 6 of chapter number 7 see these are some more sentences of your practice of narration okay let's start the sentences are there how we are going to change them into indirect form kareem asked where is muin kareem asked where muin was we have just changed a interrogative sentence into direct uh, declarative sentence okay where remains unchanged asked is already there no use of that in interrogative sentences and no use of intro sign of interrogation at the end okay now we move on to sentence number b said how much pocket money does rahil got said asked how much pocket get money rahil got and that's all this does is not going to change into did why because this does has been used as helping verb to create a sentence whenever a does is and do are used as a helping verb to construct a sentence a interrogative sentence they are not changed into did rather overall the statement of this is a statement of simple present so i have changed it into simple past get into got now we move on to sentence number c the sun rises from the east said my teacher you could you have to bring the reporting speech first the teacher said you could write it said as it is or you could change it into explained as well my teacher explained that the sun rises from the east why we have remained it unchanged why because it is a universal truth and universal truths are not changed so this is a statement of simple present i have not changed it into simple past now move on we move on to sentence number d my father is a doctor my mother is an engineer he told us okay we have to drag that reporting speech in the beginning he 
told us that his father fine why because my is a first person pronoun and i have changed it according to he he told us that his father was a doctor and his mother was an engineer okay simply which rule applies simple present into simple past fine now we we'll move on to sentence number e he said that i into he that he have into had eaten he had eaten my into his and as it is the lunch is there okay so it was a present perfect tense and we have changed into past perfect and have into had shake do you prefer tea or coffee she said no you have to keep one thing in mind that this shake actually is an object of reporting speech what we are going to do we are going to arrange this statement she asked shake she asked shake whether he this you is a second person pronoun shakir here is an object so we have to change this you into he whether it is not where it is whether he preferred prefer into preferred tea or coffee no sign of interrogation at the end just a full stop at the end she asked shakir whether he preferred tea or coffee she said i am doing a degree course at the university she said that she was i into she am into was she was doing a degree course at the university okay sentence number 8 is have you been shopping he asked us again reporting speech first he asked us okay now my interrogative speech my is starting from how i am going to change it into sorry have so i am going to change it into whether this you is a second person pronoun i am going to change it according to us whether we fine have into had whether we had been shopping have you been shopping he asked us he asked us whether we had been shopping do not make so much noise he said he forbade bade to make so much noise you could add object me over here okay fine the sentence is an imperative sentence this reported speech is an imperative sentence so whenever an imperative sentence has do not in it you could always convert it into forbade he forbade me to make so much noise again the, the next sentence is an imperative sentence my father my father said here is another rule whenever a said has an object for it we always convert this said into told okay uh, once again let me tell you whenever in reporting speech said has the has the object we always convert it into into told my father told me okay not to waste my money here i am not 
changing it do not into forbid you could always change do not into forbid or you could always remain it as it is my father told me not to waste my money i could always change this told into forbid my father forbid whenever if i use forbid then i do not use not again my father forbid me to waste my money okay this was all with the practice of uh the question number 12 fine of chapter number 6 we have we are left with four other sentences okay we are left with four other sentences okay now we are on the left of rest of the questions of question number 12 babar stop smoking she said okay this is an imperative sentence she said to babar you could do like this as well as or she warned babar she warned babar warned babar to stop smoking that the warning has been given from she to babar okay babar is an object so i have made it part of this reporting speech my my friend said to me do not be late tomorrow my friend said i asked you earlier that whenever said has an object for it this said is change into told my friend told me me not to be late tomorrow into the the next day tomorrow is change into the next day my friend told me not to be late to the next day N- number m is there meet me at the cinema he said he said capital letter he said reporting speech in the beginning he said to meet him at the cinema it is again an imperative sentence so we are connecting the two clauses with this con- with this preposition to okay he said to meet him at the cinema now we move on to sentence number n he asked me where will the train arrive it is an interrogative sentence uh, already asked is there he asked me when we are not introducing whether why because it is already starting with wh family and it remains the same when the train will into wood wood arrive okay and no sign of interrogation at the end fine we have converted the interrogative statement into direct sentence into declarative she said no question number 13 sentence number a she said i have been teaching english for 7 years she said that she had been teaching english for 7 years see there is only change of have into had and i into she, she and the the addition of that all otherwise all the sentence remains is the same i saw leila at the bank on monday said nosheen nosheen said said that she i has been converted according, according to this nosheen so it is she fine sa is a simple past that is going to change into past perfect 
that she had seen Leila at the bank on Monday. No sentence number C. Are you looking for something special? Inquired the shop assistant. The shop assistant inquired. We could always replace our. We could always replace our uh, interrogative sentence with the said and inquired. Both of the verbs could be introduced in place of said in interrogative sentences whenever we are converting a direct into indirect. The shop assistant inquired. Now my sentence, my reported speech is starting with R. What is the rule of changing R into indirect sentence? Whenever a sentence starts with R, it must be replay, must, there must be an addition of whether or if. Whether you, the shop assistants inquired. No object is there, fine. So I would re change this you into me. The shop assistants assistant inquired whether I was looking for something special whether i was looking for something special okay why you has been converted into i and r has been changed into was okay is saf still playing football with you all asked johar again an interrogative sentence johar asked johar inquired you could replace this it is already asked, so remain it. Remain it as it is. Johar asked whether Saf whether Saf was still playing football with me all. Okay. Why? Johar asked whether Saf whether Saf was still playing. Is has been changed into was. Whether Saf was still playing football with me. No object for you. So I am changing this you into me with, with me all. Okay. Now, in number E, can I use, use your phone? I asked. I asked whether I asked whether I could use her phone. How oh, I have changed it. Fine. First person pronoun changes according to subject. Subject is I, so it remains unchanged. You do not have, have uh, object for it, so I am changing it into first or third. Here I couldn't use first person because it is not going to make sense. I asked whether I could use my phone, so it means I am asking myself. No, this is not a self question, rather I am asking, I am introducing this pronoun, third person pronoun to make it a sensible question. I asked whether I could use her phone. The gardener said, I always sell all my flowers. The gardener said, said that he always sold all his flowers. Sell, sold, sold. Okay? Sell into sold, I according to the gardener, he, fine, and my according to the gardener, his. I have returned the dictionary to the library, Javed told Sonia, okay? 
No, again I am dragging the reporting speech here uh, out. Javed told Sonia that he had, this have is converted into had, that he had returned the dictionary dictionary to the library okay to for the completion for the sake of completion the same exercise actually i am writing a little bit prakash said my wife went with me to the show prakash said that his wife had gone. Went will be changed into had gone. Why went is a simple past and we are going to change simple past into past perfect. That his wife had gone with him to the show. That his wife had gone with him to the show. This was the practice of self-test number 6 from chapter number 7 and question number 12 and 13. Okay. We are left with two exercises more of the narration that is chapter number 14 and 15. Okay class, this is the question number 14 of self-test number 6. And again, it is a practice of narration that so much practice shows that narration is a compulsory question of your ICAP examination. So examiner has added lot many questions for your practice. Okay. Now let's start with the, with the, with question number 14, sentence number A. We may stay, they said. Again, the reporting speech at the end, we are going to bring it over here. They said that they might stay okay we have been changed into we is the first person pronoun that is changed according to subject subject is they may into might so this was all the change how did you hold on to it she asked me she asked me okay again i am bringing the the Reporting speech here in the beginning, she asked me how. How is the part of WH family? So it remains unchanged. She asked me how. Second person pronoun changes according to object. Object is there me. So I am going to reverse it into I. How of how did you hold on it? How I did into had. Oh, how I had held on to it. Okay. How I had hold, held, held. Held is a third verb form. I am changing. Actually, this is a simple past. Simple past is changed into past perfect. Did into had, hold into held and all other changes like this. Okay. Mother asked, asked, how often does he bind his book? Mother asked, how often? Again, how remains unchanged. How often? He is third person pronoun. Third person pronoun never changes. How often he... Again, let me tell you, whenever do and does are used as a helping verb in uh, interrogative sentences, they are not changed to did. Rather, we are going to change the overall sentence. This is simple present, so I am converting it into simple past. How often he bound his, bind, bound, bound his books. Bind is the first, first verb form, 
and it has second verb form bound and third verb form bound. I need second form over here. So I am using bound his books. Okay. No, no sign of interrogation at the end. She said, I must have a computer to teach English online. She said that she must have a computer to teach English online. Fine. She said that first person pronoun changes according to subject. I have changed this I into she. Must is a model verb and must used to need to have and should. These are the model verbs that remains unchanged. So I'm, I am not changing must into any other form. Rather I would use is it as it is must. I am not changing this have into had. Why? We always use the first verb form after the model verbs. Whatever the conditions are. So I am using is I am reproducing it as it is. She said that she must have a computer to teach English online. Okay. Now we move on to the next sentence. They said the lesson had already started when he arrived. They said that the lesson had already started when he arrived. Okay, fine. We have just made the addition of that in this sentence. No other addition, no other change. Why? Because this is a past perfect clause, okay? Past perfect tense remains unchanged. And whenever past perfect is combined with, with a simple past, we are not going to change both the clauses into past perfect. When one clause is a past perfect, the other clause must be in simple past. So I am not doing any change in it. It is already a combination of past perfect and simple past that it it is a sentence of past follows past. Fine. So I have just made an addition of that over here. Now we move on to sentence number F. He said, I was going to school every day. Okay. He said that I into he was into had been going to school every day. He said that uh, we have just make one change over here. That is I into he and was into had been. Okay. Mubarak said I am very busy now. Mubarak said said that he was very busy then, okay, he says, I have passed the examination. He says, whenever reporting speech is in simple present, that remains, the tense of the verb remains unchanged. He says that he has passed the examination. Okay, I am using changing this has into have, have into has, why? Because this pronoun requires has with it, okay? Otherwise, the change of the tense is not, uh, the change of the tense is not involved, okay? The tense remains unchanged, why? Because my reporting speech is simple, present. I, uh, I may go to Sawat again, said Roshan Khan. Or Roshan Khan. Roshan Khan said that he 
might go to Savat again. Okay. I is going to change according to this Roshan Khan. Fine. May into might and all other tenses as it is. Sarah asked her brother, will you help me complete the report? Sarah asked her brother whether will when will is there we add the words whether or if so why because will is a model verb so i am adding this whether whether he you according to her brother whether he will into would whether he would help i into according is changing according to sara so i'll be changing into her whether he would help her complete the report asad said to me sonia left the, the town last night asad told me i have already told you whenever a said has an object for it it is converted into told asad told me me that sonia had left the town last night is going to change into the previous night okay now the sentence number d will you give me a right to the college i asked her again reporting speech in the beginning i asked her whether you according to object object is her i asked her whether she would give me according to first subject that is i whether i asked i asked her whether she would give me ride to the college so these were the exercise number 15 see we have done a lot much practice of narration i hope your concepts of narration must be very clear after such long practice and hope and i hope you'll be able to attempt the question of 10 marks in your icap examination see you with the next topic